All right, guys. Looks like we have Jeffrey DeLuna in the in the box here against Benji Esther. They'll be playing a race to six games. Jeffrey's won the coin flip and is going to start us off with the first break of the match. Uh, this is Raymond Linares commenting uh, for you here at uh, Bruins in Tampa, Florida. Um, should be a good match. It's nice to see uh, a caliber player like Jeffrey uh, here in the southeast. Uh, he's been doing well in these tournaments, and um, it's good for our Florida players to get a chance to spar against uh, some of the higher caliber players, especially Filipinos. Um, you know, we haven't had that for a little while, maybe since the Seminole Pro Tour was really thriving. You know, we had, for a while there, we had Martin Manalo and uh, Warren Kiamko and some of those guys coming and competing, uh, especially when the, when the tournaments got, you know, big. Uh, we had, you know, at least five or six Filipinos playing in some of these tournaments, so it's nice to see that again. Um, these two are very friendly. Benji is actually Filipino as well. He lives in the Orlando area, and uh, I believe uh, Jeffrey p stays with him whenever he comes into town. So uh, maybe we'll see some high-powered high powered antics here. But uh, anyways, Jeffrey uh, to break. And uh, let's see what he puts into the rack. Jeffrey known for having a really big nine ball break. Jeffrey comes with a patented power break, loses a cue ball slightly, almost scratched in the corner, but the white E stays up. And um, he'll have a look at the, the one ball. Um, not really an offensive shot unless he wants to go full tilt and go for the bank. If not, you may see him play safe. Jeffrey brings the cue ball back behind the five, banks the one, two rails cross table for safe. And uh, we'll get our first look at Benji now. Jay, definitely another easy match for Benji. Apparently he said he's giving up the last two. <laughs> Looks like Benji's lining up a jump shot here, potentially banking the one up table, maybe bringing the cue ball back behind the 5 8. Yeah. Lining up the jump. Oh, hit the top of the one, actually. Let the cue ball loose. I think uh, Jeffrey's going to have a clean shot at the one on the side. But he's got to navigate between the eight and five. Might see him just kind of lay up and take a longer shot on the two. Maybe come back and forth between them, back across. Oh, he can get above him. That's nice. Now he's open on the two. Powers the two in the corner. Comes three rails around. Jeffrey, uh, oh, of course I was about to get him, but rattles the three in the side. Uh, was trying to draw back for shape on the four in the bottom corner. Not sure he needed to draw back. Probably could have just kept the cue ball in the middle and uh, you know, use the four to get to the five. But I guess he wanted that natural angle. Oh, Jay, that's interesting. Looks like Benji's going to go for this three five combo. Floats it in. Overcut the five a little bit. And now the three's, um, you know, on that bottom cushion. So he's got to come with. Little shot here, but really he's just got to play speed to not scratch. And uh, the four is in the pocket, so he's he's likely to get a shot.
nice and easy on this three ball. Makes it. He avoids the scratch. And he, you know, that <clears throat> these rails are springing a little bit now, and I think he's hooked himself. Um, he, he overcut. He overcut the uh, three slightly, and uh, that translated to more cue ball travel. And now he's he's dealing with uh, full cover on the uh, on the nine. So he's looking at whether or not he can swerve around the nine to the long rail, and. Um, make contact it's actually a very good shot because he has a big area of position and he he won't get hooked by the nine coming this way uh, and he can end up either with a six in the corner or in the side depending on how full of a contact on the floor so yeah that was a good shot looks like he didn't have to mass a very much just a straight forward rail first um and now he's just got to decide how he wants to go about the six. If he floats the six in the side, he'll go two cushions uh, up table out of the corner and, and back up for the eight. Yeah. Nice, big, safe area of position there. Benji now looking at the eight ball. He wants to go two rails across table. Nope. Perfect. Got the full side of the corner. And uh, didn't get to the second cushion. But uh, pretty makeable shot here on the nine. You just got to bear down and put it in. And again, cuts it to the far side of the pocket. But he takes game one. And a break of serve to start the match. So... Benji wins the first rack on Jeff's break, and now Benji will have the break in the game two. Good for Benji to get settled. I think his buddies are razzing him a little bit because he, he looks like he's taking the little pressure playing uh, his countrymen. Jeffrey, of course, one of the best players in the world. Sponsored by Mez Q's. Looks like we're making some progress on second round winner side matches here. I haven't played my second round match, but if they do call me, I'll step out. Cheryl's going to be making her way back here in the booth as well, so we'll be here for you guys. Benji with the break. Looks like he's coming from a box break with elevated bridge. Nice, solid hit. Pockets to nine. The nine spots doesn't count on the break because it's rack your own. And uh, the seven ball comes and hooks believe most of the one if he has a piece of it he might split them I think he can see the left side of the one so he might bank the one to the right rail and split the cue ball to the left and let Jeffrey in oh no he could see the right side of the one wow if he gets down no unfortunately he didn't get there I didn't think he could see the full right side of the one uh, would have been a good shot if he would have gotten the cue ball behind the 3-9, but now Jeffrey's got an open shot, and he's going to come in, um, he's going to come in swinging, Benji marks a score, nice shot there with inside English from Jeffrey, you see him come two rails to the, back to the middle for the four. He lost the cue ball a little bit. I'm telling you, these rails are, are bouncing a little bit more. And uh, Jeffrey's going to have to either kick or go to the jump cue. Tries to go one rail. I don't necessarily like the one rail there. 
Um, it's hard to hit the one, hit the four on the bottom side and get away there. I think it's easy to go into the seven, and that keeps you down table. I thought maybe three rails tight to the back side of the four might have been a little better, or two rails direct. Um, either way, Benji has ball in hand off the uh, positional error from Jeff. And uh, he looks good. He's got the five straight in and on the side. Six in the middle as well. He's just got to manage his angle off the uh, six to the seven. Um, if he can get back to about where he is now, that should be safe. It's a little shy of that. So he'll um, have to play a little bit more of a thinner cut shot the hair of outside English to keep him above the nine. And if he can stay to the left side of the table, he'll have a natural angle on the eight. Nice shot. That's ideal. Even here is fine. He can go one rail instead of two. This is just a high ball. Um, honestly, a hair of inside, if any. It, you can really shift this line just from cut angle. So if you hit the full part of the pocket or cut it a hair, you know, you can take your line to a desired spot. So, yep. Really good. So this is a, definitely a manageable position for Benji to take an early 2-0 lead and to defend his break against uh, Jeffrey. All he's got to do is make this 9 ball. Beautiful. All right, 2-0 for Benji. Guess who's back, right? Back again. I am Cheryl's back. Cheryl's back. Listen, we have a couple comments. Gary Lucchesi, how do okay? How do you shut up, shut off the closed captions? You mean the comments? No, uh, closed captions on the on the Facebook app. You, Sometimes it it'll come up and it'll start transcoding, give you closed captions. That, there there should be a three button menu at the top of the player that will let you access the closed captions, and then you can turn them on or off. Okay. So also, Jay Stock said, and who was our lady commentator with a strong, clear, professional? voice please introduce yourself just began watching tv well jay my name is cheryl baglin aka little biscuit as wpba calls me and i am been honored and blessed with ray linares that uh Jeannie and sonia and jeanette have asked us to commentate today and we are here for that great cause also we have a comment another easy match for benji and it right. says uh, they played last week at boulevard yep all right, I'm back. What did I miss? Um, Benji's up 2 nothing on DeLuna. Yeah, Jeffrey had the first break, and um, Benji was able to peel away that game. And uh, off of Benji's break, uh, Jeffrey hooked himself on the 5 and then gave up ball in hand uh, off a bad kick, and Benji ran out. So it's 2-0, Benji. Well. Although I will say that in this matchup, Jeffrey definitely has the better hair. Uh, he's got the hair advantage. And uh, it's a decided factor. Benji, of course, wearing a hat. So, you know, we have to take that into account. The hair but is impressive. It's uh, It's got its own mystique, you know? It does. It's got its own little bob. Benji looking to kick on the short side here. The cue ball will want to lengthen out here, so you got to account for that. And he, he does well. Uh, a lot of players will aim at the ball, and the ball will, like, curve off the first cushion, the short cushion, especially when the cue ball is really close to it. And um, they'll wonder why. So you have to account for that that bend in the cue ball and kick uh, to the short side of the object ball and allow, allow the bend to take you where it's going to go, especially as you get closer to the to the uh, incident rail. Uh, Jeffrey plays a nice little two rail safe. They're in a little safety battle here. Benji's looking to come uh, turn this uh, this uh, kick into a, a positive outcome for him. He doesn't want to give up ball in hand. So he's going to kick to the left of the two as we see it and probably target going to the long cushion because it makes the one a really big ball. Oh, oh he went direct. Oh. And... Uh, he kicked his wallet, as Danny DeLoberto would say. 
that's why I kind of like going to the long cushion there because then, you know, that's kind of safe. You can tiki behind the ball, bank it away. And you don't scratch. You can rail first make it. You can make it thin and play safe. Play hard, though, no? um, the speed was fine. He just, the uh, angle of attack was uh, a little off. Jeffrey dealing with a little maybe of like a uh, friendly foe cue ball issues nice here. He, I think, is going to get clear of that nine ball and have a long shot on the four. A little, little yeah, treacherous situation sure. there. They're nice both? shot, but the cue ball is going downtown. So, so hard, no? It's just, you know, what are you going to do? Jeff bearing down, just wants to make this five. Makes a five, but he's in the drink. He's in the drink. Benji Esther with ball in hand and a chance to go up 3-0 against Jeffrey DeLuna. That's huge. Is this the uh, winner side still? This is still winner side, yeah. This is an all Filipino matchup. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. This is a wood versus carbon fiber Filipino battle royale. This is a Royale with cheese. <laughs> okay. Uh, Benji didn't get great on the seven. He's going to have to move the cue ball a little bit or take a little bit of a longer shot on the eight. Maybe he feels bad wow, for Jeffrey. And is, uh, maybe he's getting, you know, sponsor vibes. Maybe he's like, I don't want to beat my horse. Jeffrey will take the uh, donation. Draw back off the eight and pocket the nine ball. I mean, Benji just needed to get relatively straight on the seven ball. No problem, you know? Yeah, like money. Yeah, it was I mean, really not a uh, super confident. Difficult out. So. Super confident at this point. Jay said, That's spoiler a big alert, game. Jeffrey uh, was undefeated in that boulevard tournament. Jeffrey's not very tall, um, but he's a great player. All right, guys, remember, if you have any questions or comments or anything that you would like Ray or myself to answer, please, or any messages that you have for Jeanette, as she will go back and read this. Uh, Jeanette will be joining us a little bit later this evening. Um, Tchaikovsky's 18th Overture is the correct answer to the next question. Okay. Did I miss something? It hasn't come yet, but somebody's going to ask me. Oh, okay. And the answer See? is going to be Tchaikovsky's 18th Overture. Right now, people are Googling Tchaikovsky's 18th Overture. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Right, that made ben, me chuckle, sir. Ben, yeah, well, I love you know, that. You this always is, make This me is an chuckle. interactive show. You make okay. me feel fluffy inside. Oh, I'm here to fluff. All right, Benji with the cut break. Makes the four in the corner. Nice break. Um, Three's a little iffy. I think he's got a long view of the one. I think he can make the one if he goes aggressive, but managing and navigating between the seven and the six is a little speculative. I mean, J Jeff has a big stroke. He'd like draw this around and pound it around the table like if it's a bar table, but I'm not sure Benji wants to sweat that action. Well, that was my only concern was that if you make the one, you go dead into the seven and uh, Benji just went after it. And he actually got a really nice, you know, uh, bump off the seven. Now he's pretty ideal on the two. Uh, he's got to hold it for the three. He might go into the three uh, if he doesn't think he can hold it. Oh, wow. Look, he's going to go straight for the three nine. That's an interesting shot. I figured he could have, um, you know, used like a, a little bit of a, like a low outside ball and gone two rails behind the three and developed it that way. But he's just going to go all in on the three nine, ship it. Oh, you can tell you love straight pull, dear. Medium, medium soft, like medium speed, just nice full contact on the night. Nice wow, shot. Wow, what a shot. Nice, changes everything. Wow, again. that's a big response uh, yeah. there. Let me change the scores because we have. It's uh, uh, three to one, yeah? Yeah, three to one now, total score. That that was a statement shot. Benji yeah, was, was like, oh, yeah? It's oh, kind of yeah? like a, I'm going to stop it. 
He's coming with the heat right now, Benji. He is. Orlando's playing. finest, baby. He's putting it down. He might be the best Filipino player in Orlando. You think so? What yeah. About, what about in the state? Huh? What about in the state? No, it's probably Genie's. Genie's still. From a male standpoint, though. I don't know if there are any very good male Filipino players in the state of Florida that are permanent residents. Yeah. You know, we get a lot of the transits. I heard Warren Kianko was in in the uh, vicinity recently with Jeffrey at some point or somewhere. Jeffrey coming with the break. Nice solid break. I kind of think his break is a little inefficient. How so? A lot of body movement for not a lot of yield, you know. I think he can get a lot of the same responses just with less stroke. He's got such a strong stroke anyhow that he could probably... So less force? Less that yeah, he jumps out of his shoes, you know, when he's really going after it. But I don't think I think there's diminishing return after you know, like there's a there's a certain threshold where too much power, where more power doesn't give you much more, you know. Do you think it's because he's short? No, I just think that's his style of breaking, you know. Yeah. But like you look at a guy like Shane when he breaks like ten ball, it's a lot of stroke. It's not a lot of power. He's not like smashing the balls, you right. know. It's all timing and and uh, transition, and. He's such a talented player, Jeff, that he could probably dial in something like that and uh, get better results with uh, actually doing less. Yes. Also with the hair, it's just, you know, you combine <laughs> those two together. Forget it. All right. So uh, Benji's uh, looking good here. Um, three ball in the side, four ball. Really, the five to the seven is it, and it'll determine how he approaches, you know, the rest of the rack. Correct. But I think he wants to be relatively full. Oh, I'm sorry, six to the seven. So he's going to go four, five off the six. He's going to come two rails. And that's perfect. He can come two rails to the third cushion and have the seven and then the eight in the side. Man, oh, ben Benji, scratch. Benji's coming with daddy power right oh. now. <laughs> you think it's too much angle to hold for the six? Or are you going to bump into he's the He's going to go to the side rail and back out. It's probably the easiest way to manage your the the pressure of the shot. You don't want to baby this ball because then it's easy the speed to baby the ball. It's easy to get flat on the six. Nice shot. So Just this is the right way to hit it. You know to come to the to the long cushion and back out. Yeah. Now he's a little bit flatter. He didn't put any right English on that ball. Um, so like ideally he would like to be on the line where that first diamond is, above the above the the corner pocket. So he's like almost halfway there. So he's going to have to work the cue ball just a little bit, you know. But really, he just wants to try and get past the side pocket line. If he can get past the side pocket line into this area, he'll have an angle on the seven and can go after, you know, a chance to get to have a really commanding lead. And guys, um, this is this is so cool that actually Ray is showing me with a mouse pointer. Well, I don't have a telestrator for you guys. So it's great. At least I have one. I have an audience of one. I love it. Oh, table 17, sir. Wow. So he went a little rail first. Oh, bump into the nine. Yeah, Jen. He went, he hit that a little rail first, not ball first. And that's why he went long and the nine kind of helped him a hair. But, uh, you know, you take what you can get here. Yeah. He's got to float the seven and doesn't have to do anything crazy. Yeah, beautiful. Wow. Nice shot. Benji, suspect Esther, coming <laughs> with the heat. He is coming Just with the heat. Just a high ball. High ball float down on the bottom. And Jeffrey concedes. Wow. Oh, he conceded. So Who is this guy? Where is he from? Oh. What table am I on? Did they call 17, him? sir. It was nice to have you. I'll see you in a bit. Good I'll, luck. Uh, I'll be back. Well. I, I will. All right. Guy Smith, thanks for the stream. No, thank you for joining us. And you're live from Jacksonville, Florida. Glad you could join us. And by the way, I am from Jacksonville, Florida, originally too, Guy Smith. So, hello. So, all right, guys. So we're back. Benji is coming off with this. He is coming off with this hard. I mean, a 4-1 lead on DeLuna. As you know, Rayleigh Nurse that was commentating with me, he has to go play his match on table 17. Guys, a little nice break. Oh. Remember, nine does not count on the break. This is 
races to six. This is still the winner side of races to six. Loser side, race to five. In the final race, it'll be to eight. It's modified Texas Express. Alternate break, nine does not count anywhere on the break. Keep in mind that the entry fee, $20, it was a $60 cost for this uh, event. $20 of that will go to the benefit of the Janet Lee Legacy. And uh, guys, if you're just joining us, my name is Cheryl Baglin, a.k.a. Little Biscuit from the WPBA Calls Me. Welcome to the Black Widow Legendary Championship. We are live from Bruins in Tampa, and we're so glad to have you guys. And remember, if you have any messages or anything that you'd like, any questions or anything you'd like to say to Jeanette, you can always say it in the comments as well. If you have any questions, we have a lot of pro players up in this room today. We get, get this, guys. These A players, we had 60 A players, pro players on the A side. We have 96 on the B side amateur players. This is a packed little house for a great cause. Also, while we're watching this match, guys, huge shout out to our donators and the companies that have donated as well. I'll go over that list after this match. Look at this shot. Oh, just got on backside of that pocket. Now what they're playing on is they're playing on some Brunswicks. No, it's just standard pocket, standard nine footer. Uh, no double shim, no triple shim type table. Benji can capitalize on this. He can't really see it full. I'm uh, guessing that he's going to go for the safe. A little offense defense. Jam it up right behind the eight just like that. Get that ball in hand so you can manipulate the table to potentially go up five to one. Five to one on, on DeLuna. This is like nuts. But again, this is, uh, this is something. Nice hit. Oh, man. He almost pocketed that ball. Again, offense, defense. And that's what these guys are. You're seeing some legit. These are some of the best players that the country has to offer, especially down here in Florida. There's been a lot of local favorites, a lot of pros that are here today. So thank you for joining us. Nice kick shot. Look at this. Behind the eight. Behind the seven. Uh, he can still see full on the two. He's going to have to put it in the top right corner from our view that is and guys if you want to donate as you can see on the bottom of the screen all donations can go to the gofundme.com forward slash Jeanette Lee Legacy Fund also if anybody was in on the raffles or would like to donate uh, for the raffles and the Q auctions nice shot sir oh, hit the back side of that three if that three would have stayed right by the five you can uh, email to JeanetteLeeFamily at gmail.com or Zell. Karim shot with the five. Let's see if he gets a perfect setup. A little bump off from that three. Can he see it clear? Yes, sir, he can. Wolf. Got some good play going here. Jeff DeLuna is fighting back like a freight train. Nice drawback. Now this is the question. Is he going to go, which corner is he going to choose? Um, you know, every player has a different uh, different objective, a different way of shooting. I'm curious to see. I think he's going to go to his right. Nice going over here. To get position on that six. He's going to draw back. Here's the rail. Three rails. Bump off the nine. Just, oh, don't get in the way. Nine ball. Nice shot, sir. Nice shot. Jay Stock, I think uh, maybe Jeffrey took a little too much off of his hairdo from last week. You think so? I, I didn't see his hair last week, but I will take your word for it, dear sir. He's just going to roll up, I think. Yeah. He was trying to get in between those two, or even get in that wide range of that area, but he's still got the seven in the side. Eight in the corner, nine in the corner. Couldn't potentially make it 4-2 right here. I don't want to jinx him, because I do believe in the commentator curse sometimes. It's just me. Nice and easy. Perfect, sir. He's coming back. That's it. All right. 
Benji told him, don't even worry about that. A little tighter of a score here at 4-2 now. While he's racking, it is alternating break. It is rack your own. Nine on the break does not count. It is Texas Express. Modified Texas Express. I'm so sorry. Race to six on the winner side. This is still winner side. Race to five on the loser side. And we are live from Bruins in Tampa, Florida. We have some of the best pro players around. We got Janet Atwell here. We have Tony Robles. Oh, Tommy Kennedy. Oh, good Lord, this room is full. Mika, as you know, Mika the Iceman jumped on with me earlier. And uh, uh, I'm just honored to be a part of blessed and honored to be asked to do this and be with you guys here for the next two days. We got action all night. Let's see what he does off the break. No ball pocketed. Oh, maybe seven. Nope, maybe the eight. Yep, there we go. The ball's still spinning. I don't know if you guys can see that. They are playing with measle balls for the SQ ball. Because some people love to ask that. And again, guys, share this stream. If you have any questions or any comments or anything you'd like to say to Jeanette Lee, please do so. Or any one of us here that is commentating any questions. Uh, came up a little short than he wanted to, but still, he played the pocket right. Again, after each break in between matches, we have special videos that we show uh, for our love and support, all of our, most of our top world champion pro players have sent videos in to surprise for Jeanette to show their support and their donations and such. Most of the others are here in the room and uh, unfortunately they couldn't be with us here today so they sent videos and such and as a collaboration I'm very proud to be a part. Seven on the corner. All right, conceded again. We're getting an even race here. We're getting a little close for a little ball game here, folks. We're getting some money's worth. Getting money matches, sir. We are at 4 3. It's race to six. This is on the winner's side. This is getting good. This is getting real good. With the likes of Tony Robles, we saw him play his match. He's sitting next to me, but he is eating and taking his time, resting a bit. Tony Robles, if anybody is out there, just so you know, Tony does live in South Florida. He moved down from New York, and he's offering uh, pool lessons and pool clinics all over South Florida. All you have to do is reach out to him on Facebook, or you can reach out to Beyond Billiards. We do want to give a shout out to Eduardo Gomez at Beyond Billiards. Mika, myself, Tony, we love that place. And thank you so much, Beyond Billiards in Davie, Florida. Huge little shout out. All right. Remember, it's alternating break, so now Benji's up to the table. If he can do a little break and run, puts him on the hill. These boys are very impressive. As Ray Lanier said, Filipino sensations. They are two of the best male Filipino players in Florida. Partly in the country, maybe. Give or take a few. As you can hear, we Mike and out there, we have uh, raffles that are being done. They're doing uh, several raffles. I have the blue ticket. So the minute that you hear in the background a blue ticket, I'll be looking for my number. We have uh, have so much that we raffled off and so much that has been donated after each match. I'll get into that after this particular match because I don't want to take away from this game because this is good action. This is good nine ball action, guys. All right, I'm looking at the 2-9. It's a wanky little situation. I think he's going to try to break it out, maybe, or slide over. Maybe it goes, and I don't see it. It's off a little bit, but let's see. This, this is like, the 2-9's not quite frozen, but he might as well. I mean, if it's 4-3. Yeah, I think he's going for it. Oh, nice shot, sir. Just like that. That was impressive. That was super impressive. Look at that. The game ties up. So, that was a great shot. Super impressive. 
Now we got a tie ball game. It's a race to two. See how things change? This is exciting. <laughs> nice shot. There goes Jeff DeLuna. Like a freight train, he's coming back like a madman. I love this. See, this is what, this is some good pool, guys. Again, we are live at the Jeanette Lee Black Widow Legacy Championship in Bruins in Tampa. Ah, huge shout out to Janet Atwell. She is here today. She's playing live with us, but her event at Borderline is next weekend, her Black Widow Legacy event. And then May 8th, we're doing the next Black Widow Jeanette Lee Legacy Championship live from Strokers and Palm Harbor on May 8th. We're going to World Stream, myself and Nate from Cue It Up Network. So we're super excited to have that. You guys, are the stream uh, on May 8th is going worldwide, baby. We're going to have guest commentators from all over the world joining us. And we are super excited to be a part of that. So huge shout out to Nate with Cue It Up Network that is going to be joining me on May 8th. Jeannie Seaver, Sonia Chabib running this event. Huge shout out to you guys. They've been busy little beavers all day today. Nice break, sir. All right, let's get back to some pool. Sorry, guys. Sorry about the jibber jabber. All right, look at this break. Mad. When I say mad, not like mad, I mean like, that's pretty, pretty impressive when I say that. I think he's gonna go for the three nine or play safe. He went for the three seven, but it's offense defense. And guys, that, like you heard Mika say it earlier, if you're going to play a nine ball, the cue ball control is like necessary, especially in offense defense. And that's how you win games unless you, we haven't seen much safety games. It's just offense defense safety. So it's not, uh, you know, it's like a twofold. All right, he's going to mass A, or he's, I don't think he's, no, he's just mass A. And guys, just so you know, I can, uh, nice shot, make contact, but gave him an almost straight in on the three. Still a valiant effort, Sir Benji. So guys, he opened him up. He let Jeff back in the game. There's nothing tied up. There's nothing complicated about this. The only thing that can complicate things is if he doesn't get past that six, which he just did. Guys, just so you know, I'm looking at a monitor, and also I'm like front row and center with the table. So this is like the best seat in the house. So whatever I can't see within the monitor, we look on the thing. I look on the table. Six on the side, seven, stop shot, nine in the corner. That puts him on the hill. Benji conceded to that game, five, four. Puts DeLuna on the hill. After being down. <laughs> it's alternating break. So that, so now we're, if Benji can get a break and run, you're talking about a, a solid tied ball game. And both of these guys have sick breaks. And again, when I say sick, I mean pretty badass. So. Please, guys, share this stream and share this link. Everyone can donate on Jeanette Lee's GoFundMe page. Or you can zell for any raffles and auctions to JeanetteLeeFamily at gmail.com. So show your support, guys. That's what we're here for. And thank you for watching. And obviously, we do this because you guys, as fans, as viewers, we're all pool players. And we're offering our support any way we can and showing some good pool today in Tampa. All right. It's going to draw back a little bit. Maybe draw back a little. Yeah, I slid over, Drew. Perfect for the side pocket. Uh, stop. I don't know if he's going to slow or just stop and shot it. Definitely would not go down table. Perfect. These guys are both in a stroke now. That's the whole thing. Corner. 
four in the corner. Everything's wide open. They're auctioning things now. Just so you guys know, you can hear that in the back, back mic. Kathy Madsen, you're doing a great job keeping me company on the drive back to Boca. Thank you, Kathy. We are here. Please, we'll be here all night. And of course, it's a thank you for joining us. And Boca's not too far from Fort Lauderdale. So please be safe. There was a big rainstorm here. Just saying, Kathy. Look at this guy go. Look, who draws back like that? He knows it, too. Okay. Uh, went a couple rails there. Uh, I think he wanted to go for the angle shot. It's a done ball game. Look at that. Look at DeLuna. DeLuna takes it over against Benji. Now, guys... Now that this match is over with, let's, I would like to thank a few of our donators and sponsors.